Uh, hello again. I just checked the first video and it came out great. It just blocks, uh, you know, the images, right? You can't see the movie, but um, the, the words come through at the bottom, the sound. So, uh, yeah, pretty sweet. <laughs> I was happy to see that. Um, hopefully uh, this is all legal and everything and uh, <laughs> uh, YouTube will uh, allow this kind of video. Um, I guess if it doesn't have the images, then it's okay. So anyway, I'll continue along. So what's happening here uh, is um, Alex is using some words and everyone else is like, what? You know, what are you talking about? Um, you know, uh, people our age don't <laughs> say these words and they don't um, mention uh, Cindy Crawford. Uh, so we had the words fly, right? So that's fly. That means cool. We have that here. He says not Cindy Crawford fly. So not as, you know, cool as Cindy. Uh, actually, let's look up fly. If you ever have any doubt, always look it up. Actually, I want to show you guys the Urban Dictionary. Uh, if you don't know about this yet. So Urban Dictionary. Okay, so Urban Dictionary. Here we go. Uh, it has, you know, a lot of words that are not in the normal uh, dictionary. So like kind of street English. Wow, what is this? May 16th, word of the day. It's very long. Hmm. Uh, so they, they feature certain interesting words. You can check that one out here. Uh, a little bit hard to say that, but okay. So we had fly, right? So here's fly. Fly to be fly is to be cool and amazing and awesome. All right. So just like I said, okay. So uh, yes, yeah, Cindy Crawford is fly, according to Alex. Um, and then he's, he's talking about Martha, so he's saying Martha's the bomb. So let's check. Let's check the bomb on the Urban Dictionary. Uh, so here, a phrase that is used to show something is really cool, uh, exceptionally good to use while in an airport. Uh, no, just kidding. Yeah, you don't want to mention bomb in an airport, right? That'll get you in trouble. Um, so they're joking there. So the bomb, again, we have a million ways in English to say something's cool. So that's another way to say it. So we got fly, we got the bomb and again, uh, and Cindy Crawford, right? Um, you guys remember I showed you a picture of her. Here she is, Cindy Crawford. Still looking fly, still looking like the bomb, uh, a little older now. Um, and then with her daughter there, I think daughter's even more beautiful, wow. Okay, so these are old references, as we shall see in a minute here, old references. Your bomb. Your bomb. Cindy Crawford. That's your go-to. I'm just saying, I'm sure they'd like to get Judy with. Okay, so here's another old expression saying the soldiers would like to get jiggy with her. Okay, so let's put that in here. Urban Dictionary. Get jiggy, not joggy, jiggy with. Let's see what they have for that. Uh-oh, couldn't find it here. Get jiggy. Okay, so here's getting jiggy, dancing with someone, having sex with someone, gaining comprehension of something. Uh, saw Mark getting jiggy with Pamela just now on the dance floor. Okay, so anyway, that's for dancing. And then the sex one, that's, of course, the one he's talking about, right? So he says, uh, I'm sure they like to get jiggy. So those, those soldiers would like to have sex with Martha, of course. Uh. 
Alex. So as usual, uh, Spencer's the smartest character, right? He's a very good student and very um, smart. So he usually will think of everything first uh, in the movie. So he's realizing about Alex. What year do you think it is? What do you mean? Oh, no. It's 1996. Oh boy. <laughs> so um, poor Alex uh, still thinks it's 1996. Of course, that's the year he went into the game, but he's been in the game for a long time and he doesn't even know. Um, it looks like sometime in the game um, means a lot more time in the real world, right? So that's what that is. Okay, so again, you know, Spencer puts it together that uh, this guy is Alex Vreek. Uh, so you guys remember in the beginning of the movie, they have that uh, scary house uh, because the kid, right, in the very beginning, right, looks like the father finds the game on the beach in the sand, brings it home, and then the kid plays it, and then he disappears, right? So that's that kid. So his name's Vreek. So Vreek kind of rhymes with freak. Remember freak, right? Freak is like very strange uh, in meaning. So the very strange house, freak house. Wait, what are, you, what are you guys talking about? How do you know me? Alex. Okay, so he's like, what? You know, how do you guys know about me? Of course, he's famous in their town. Right? Everybody knows about this kid. I'm exactly not. Have you been in this game for 20 years? So Spencer is sort of more polite and careful, uh, but Fridge is not, right? Fridge is very direct, noisy, <laughs> uh, will just say everything very quickly and directly, easily. You've been in this game for 20 years. Years. That's probably not how I would have done it. What? No, you guys are messing with me, right? Okay, so you're messing with me, right? That means like you're joking with me, you're fooling around, something like that is the meaning. No, we're not. Alex Breed, everybody in Brentford. So, uh, yeah, Alex Breed. So everybody in Brentford, Brentford, uh, Brentford is their um, their town, right? Brentford knows about you. You're the kid that disappeared 20 years ago. 20 years? Twenty years, man. I don't even know how to say this, but Cindy Crawford, dude, she's like. So yeah, Cindy Crawford right now is much older. She's like fifty years old. So tough news for poor Alex, right? Um, but that is how it goes. If you're in a video game, you can lose time in the real world. I just want to check um, on my questions. Of course, make sure you. Uh, do these questions right after you watch this video uh, okay I want to see where I go to good all right let's go back 50 years old uh, but still fly still fly still cool eh. oh, yeah. fridge is like yeah you know so so right if you go meh kind of means like so so of course poor Alex is gonna freak out now Freak out, right? Get really upset. Hey. We're gonna get you home. Tell her to do. Did she twist her ankle, maybe? She's or... flirted. Okay, so uh, Martha's, you know, of course, walking over to those uh, soldiers, um, and she's got a really strange walk, very weird and awkward, and um, 
the guys are like, what did you teach her? You know, what's she doing? She looks really strange, really weird. And then um, uh, Bethany explains, well, she's never flirted before, right? Give her a break. This is her first time to flirt. Or give her a break. Hello, little lady. What are you doing out here all alone? So, um, as you know, the characters in this game, they sort of say something, uh, but they're not really, you know, thinking or alive or they can't really react very much. They just have their uh, kind of program responses, right? So remember we have NPC, NPC, non-player character, and they just say some stuff and that's it. They're very limited. Help me. Hello, little lady. What are you doing out here all alone? I'm <laughs> sorry, this is nigga funny. What is she doing? She got a bug in her hair. <laughs> so they're watching her going, What is she doing? She's acting really weird. She got a bug in her hair or something. She's forgotten all of her training. Okay, so uh, Bethany has spent so much time training her, right? Uh, but um, unfortunately, she's not really doing it very well. And uh, so she's worried about uh, that. Okay, so there we go. That's the end of our lesson. Um, please make sure that you uh, answer the questions, as we always do. Of course, I already put the questions. Uh, uh, questions from last week with answers on on uh, Moodle, and um, so you guys need to um, uh, review those first. Make sure you go through the the questions from last week, answers, right, and make sure uh, you had the same answers. Uh, check those first, okay. Then uh, after that, I hope you can uh, you know study this part here, the, the new part with these two videos. Hopefully everyone finds these okay. And, uh, and then of course, do our, our new questions uh, should be question list number eight, right, which is here. Okay, so this part is with these uh, eighth list of questions. Uh, and go through first do them by yourself is very important. Uh, so you can really try to think and um, remember all these because you have to know these for the test, right? So it's very useful to um, uh, to do these by yourself. Do not just wait for my answers. That's not a good way. You need to try to answer them yourself, okay, first. Then the next week I'll give you um, the answers. Then you can check and make sure your answers are correct. Okay, so please do it that way. It's the best way to prepare for the test. And um, so this is how we're going to uh, have to have class for the next few weeks. And we'll see what happens in June. Again, I don't know um, if we'll be back at school in June or not. Uh, but uh, anyway, hopefully, um, hopefully we can be. You know, it'd be nice to get back to normal. Uh, but, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Who knows? Uh, anyway, I hope everyone's uh, staying uh, healthy and, and being safe and careful. Uh, please, um, you know, uh, stay home as much as you can, right? Try not to go out. And uh, uh, if you can get the vaccine, that's a great idea. I already got my vaccine, so I'm happy I did. <laughs> I thought something like this might happen, actually. So I got my vaccine uh, in anticipation of what's happening now. So anyway, um, everybody take care, be safe. And this is the end of this video. I'll talk to you next time. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.